Hi, my name is Matt Fox. I oversee Top Left and I'm responsible for the Kanban product to make sure that it helps you work faster and more effectively as an engineer who uses ConnectWise or Autotask. So I'm going to show you some of the most useful features here to help you work better every day. Now, I, I've been an engineer at an MSP, and so I, I know that you're super busy. I'll keep this short. Uh, I've been using the Autotask version, but the ConnectWise version is uh, the same except in a few small areas. Here we go. So your administrator will have sent you an invitation to Kanban. Once you log in, you'll see a screen like this. You can view the selection of your Kanban boards under this menu here. Now, the data that you see it has come straight out of your PSA, ConnectWise or Autotask. The, the changes go both ways. Uh, so wherever you make changes, you should see it uh, in sync in just about real time. So uh, this is known as a card. It re represents a single ticket. And uh, these are called the columns. And these are associated with certain ticket statuses. And so that's why we uh, see certain tickets in certain columns. Uh, because of uh, the status that the ticket is in and how that status has been mapped to each column. So you can actually pick up a ticket and drag it over to a different column and that changes the ticket status there in your PSA. Uh, now you can also see exactly what status the ticket is in by looking at the little label here that has the name of the status. It also shows you how long it's been in that status, which is really useful for uh, seeing any work that has gotten neglected, which could be highlighted in a red tag like this one here when it's exceeded the threshold that your administrator has set for that column, uh, it'll, it'll show it in red. Uh, you can also see additional information about the ticket here. Uh, for example, this one here, if we hover over uh, these assignments here, they'll show who's assigned to it. And when there's a little outline there, then, uh, then we know that the assignment has been made at a certain time and day, and we can hover over it to see the details. Now, there's a few things that you can do with tickets here. Uh, those are available underneath this, uh, this menu here. You can use the Manage Resources dialog to assign and unassign people. You can use the New Service Call or uh, the Dispatch dialog to uh, also make an assignment, but to make that assignment at a certain day and time. And then as a technician, you're going to be frequently using the Enter Note and uh, Enter Time dialogs. Now, uh, if you are familiar with the timer function in your PSA, uh, you'll see that there's similar functionality here. So if you like to use that, it's also available here in Kanban here in this dialog, or uh, you'll see that it's also available right here on the card itself. You can also uh, filter, apply a filter to this board to only show uh, work from a single technician, uh, like specifically yourself. So if you click filters up there, it'll bring up this form and you can uh, enter your name here in the technicians field, click apply. And now you'll only see tickets that you're assigned to. And by the way, you can bookmark this page now to return to it very quickly with the filter applied. So you can uh, have a very easy way to see your own work. And uh, once you do this, you can all, uh, should know that you can drag the ticket up and down. Now you can use this uh, to put these tickets in a certain order so that you can work from top to bottom and just stay focused by, uh, by putting the tickets that are the most important at the top of the column uh, and then work from, from top to bottom. Now, uh, if you need any help, there's a menu here. Uh, you can click here to enter a support ticket. Uh, also pay attention to this little indicator here. If that's red, that means that there's a new announcement. It could be that we released a new feature. You can click there to learn about it. It could be something that's really useful for you. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need help or have any feedback.